In many parts of the world, it is impossible to find clean drinking water. Especially here in South Africa, where some five million people have no access to safe water. But one man is trying to do something about it. We're going towards an area called uh, Stinkwata. It's a lovely name, and that's uh, obviously an Afrikaans name. And the reason why it's called Stinkwata is because the water stinks. Trevor Field is obsessed with solving South Africa's water problems. He took me to Stinkwater to show me what he's up against. Here, people get their water from leaky, contaminated hand pumps. And the work involved is exhausting. How's that feel, Trump? Hey, man, you don't need to go to a gym, hey? You can cancel your, you can cancel your subscription to Virgin Active. You just do this for a couple of hours a day. And every day. You know? Once they've pumped the water, women still have to walk long distances back home, carrying water on their heads or in wheelbarrows. And the amount of time that these women are burning up just collecting water when they should be in their homes, so looking after their kids, teaching the children, just being loving mothers, you know. What women should be doing, not beasts of burden. Hi, guys. Hello. How are you doing? Trevor's an entrepreneur who made his money in the advertising business. And at the age of 42, decided he wanted to give something back. He teamed up with an inventor, and the roundabout outdoor play pump was born. Yeah, so what happens is as the kids, as the kids spin here, uh, and it doesn't matter which direction they go, it works in both directions. Water's pumped from an underground borehole, comes across here underground into this pipe, and not only can you hear the water going into the pipe, but you can actually feel that that's, it's yeah. getting lo very cold, cold now. Yeah. yeah. And then from there, there's an outlet pipe, and it goes across to that tap. It, when you turn it on, you just get cold, clean, fresh drinking water coming out of there. The play pump costs only $7,000 to install and can pump up to 400 gallons an hour. <coughs> Trevor installs most play pumps at schools where jungle gyms and swing sets are rare. The principal says it's a hit. First time when they arrive at school in the morning, the first child who comes in goes to the wheel, dumps his book or a book and comes to the wheel until the bell rings. They enjoy playing here. <laughs> I feel so impressed and I appreciate it. And me and my friends we were just running. Even though a teacher called us, we didn't listen to him. We were just running to the miracle one. There were no toys at school that we could play with, so I thought this may go around, we could play with it and, and, and have some fun. And what? Some fun. <laughs> it's fun, and the water's better, too. So this used to be your drinking supply? Yes. This is where you drink water from? Okay. Yes. So what do we have here? Patricia Mahole, a teacher, says for years they never realized the groundwater here was polluted. We thought it was safe, but the kids used to get diarrhea, you see, and vomit, get sick. The play pump changed everything by drawing clean water from deep underground. Trevor sells ad space on the water tanks and uses the money for maintenance to keep the play pumps working. And then he had another idea. What is this? Well, this is a, uh, the... Love Life campaign. This is an HIV AIDS awareness campaign. This is a focal point of the community. So my idea was that if we put, if we put messages for HIV AIDS awareness, it should have the same effect on these kids. And we've got to get the message through to them before they become sexually active. That's the way I see it. Trevor invited us along as a new play pump was installed in the Eastern Cape in a remote rural village. When we arrived, the taps had been dry for a week. The play pump can transform a place like this, giving enough drinking water for 2,500 people. 
And with only seven men and a day's work, the pump was ready to go. And it didn't take long for the kids to show up. Trevor wants to expand beyond South Africa and bring the play pump to neighboring countries. If we could put a thousand pumps in each country that's water stressed, we'd make a monster difference to rural water supplies. The World Bank recognized the play pump as one of the best new grassroots technologies. And these days, Trevor is busy raising the funds to fulfill his dream. It's a big operation to put a thousand pumps in any country, but it would make a major difference to the children on the ground. And that's where our passion lies, is to make a difference with the kids. Save the kids of the future. Since we first aired this story, Trevor's dreams have started to come true. Together with our partners, we commit to bringing the benefits of clean drinking water to more than a thousand communities and schools in sub-Saharan Africa through the Play Pump water system. Last September, its First Lady Laura Bush announced that Play Pumps International would be receiving $16.4 million. Among the donors are the U.S. government and the Steve and Jean Case Foundation. Back in South Africa, social entrepreneur Trevor Field was thrilled with the good news. It never, ever entered my head that the First Lady of the USA would stand up on stage and make an announcement that, well, we're going to give $16.4 million to play pumps. You know, I mean, that was from out of space. But that wasn't all. The play pump had become a celebrity cause. Hip-hop star Jay-Z pledged to raise $400,000 for Play Pumps International through his Water for Life concert tour here in Africa. Trevor moved into a larger factory and plans to triple the size of his staff. It was going to make a monster difference, a huge difference to the world. And now we've got the money to do it. And now we've got the facility to do it. And the backing of some very, very powerful people. The goal now is to raise $45 million more, which would put 4,000 play pumps in Africa by 2010. That would mean clean drinking water for some 10 million people. We're going to do it. We're going to take this through Africa and that's what we're gonna we're gonna we're really gonna change the world I think there's much more to explore on our website discuss the world and tell us what you think of our stories from a small planet at pbs.org slash frontline world